Hey guys, Cassie Davis here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you guys know, I'm not a very good cook. So today, I invited one of my very good friends, personal chef Cal over to cook some salmon cakes. Let's get to it. Today, I have personal chef Cal here. Hi guys. And we're going to make salmon cakes. I actually love salmon, but I wanted something a little more fun and a little more yummy to eat, so I asked Chef Cal to make salmon cakes, and we're gonna get to it today. If you guys are looking for a personal chef in Miami, personal chef Cal is the way to go. Not only is his food delicious, but he always puts on a show. Thank you, Cassie. Of course, Chef Cal. You the man, he's the man. So to start, first we're gonna show you guys what ingredients we'll be using to make the salmon cakes. Awesome. So Cassie, we want to make sure we have the best ingredients. So I got everything today organic from Whole Foods. We start off with some wild salmon, okay? Skins off nice and fresh. We got mixed greens for our salad. Our salmon cakes want to incorporate fruits and vegetables. So I got yeah, red okay. pepper, cilantro, lime, an orange, lemon, breadcrumbs to help it stick together, ikura or salmon roe. We're going to top it off with that. 24 karat gold flake because you are fancy. Fancy. We you got fancy, some... huh? <laughs> we got some rice crackers, edible flowers. I love these. Mm. Amazing. Mm. Red onion, chive, and an array of sauces. I got mustard, arambola, lemon vinaigrette, and Korean barbecue. The mm -mm -mm. Sauce. Chef Cal's got the sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Saucy. First thing we want to do, since we're using fresh salmon and not canned salmon, is we got to chop this bad boy up. You ready? Yep, let's do it. First, you're going to need a very sharp knife. I like my salmon cake a little chunky. You know, you get a good texture. Mm -hmm. So I just did a rough chop, nothing crazy. I'm going to put it right in my bowl. You want to make sure you have a sharp knife. When you have a sharp knife, it goes right through. You're not struggling, you know, twisting and turning. That way you don't cut yourself. Okay, we're almost done. I got one more piece to chop up. Do that real quick. Ah! Oh, sh give me a band-aid. <laughs> you didn't get me. Damn. He tried. <laughs> Chef Cal needs to work on his acting skills also. <laughs> so, Chef Cal just finished chopping the salmon. As you can see, it's all chopped up nicely. So Chef Cal just finished chopping the salmon and he's preheating the oven to... 400 degrees. 400 degrees. Now we're gonna chop some of our veg and I think I'm gonna let you do some cutting. All right. So... I can do this. We just need a little bit, you know, nothing too crazy. Give a little color, a little bit of flavor. So first, I got some red pepper. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna chop it for you like this. Julienne. Oh, is that what that's called? Yeah, and then you're just gonna do Cut it the other way okay. and do kind of a small base. Good luck, don't cut yourself. <laughs> like that? Great job. Wonderful. <laughs> oh, this knife is good. Chef <laughs> 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 Cal's watching me too closely to pull him with that kind of thing. I am so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to job, you join the team. Watch out guys, personal chef Cassie coming. Oh snap, <laughs> Chef Angelo, watch out. <laughs> watch out Chef Angelo, new, uh, new sous chef in town. I like red peppers. Go on, try one, let's try one. Mmm. Mm. Nice Fresh. flavor. <laughs> you know what, we don't measure. We got a lot of red pepper, we're just gonna throw it right in there. Bam. Bam. So fun fact, I never use recipes. Then we're gonna take onion. We're winging it guys. Winging it. Chef Cal knows what he's doing, so work your hands. So first when you're cutting onion, you want to take that Ooh, outer layer off. <laughs> right, right. Just cleaned it, took out the center, boom. <laughs> I'm gonna start crying over here. Done. Nice. Mm. Next, I want to put some chive in there. <laughs> Chives, nothing too crazy. Small dice on those. Gonna give it a little 
color and some onion flavor. So now I got a little cilantro, fresh herb, very lemony. I love the flavors of cilantro, the color. I love cilantro too. You smell that? Yeah. Mmm, I love cilantro. Only the best. So good. I like, so to, good. I like to smack it. <laughs> yeah, kind of clap it, make it clap. Does that do anything? Yeah, it kind of opens up. <laughs> really? Yeah. Smack your cilantro, people. Yummy. Right. Now, something that most people wouldn't do. We're gonna take the zest of our orange, our lemon, and our lime. Mm. So the zest is the outside, mm -hmm. not even the inside. So with my knife, I'm just gonna go, cut a little bit off the outside. Now, if you have a zester at home, people use that. I just like love using my knives. The zest. So we got the zest here. You can kind of bend it, twist it. I don't know if you saw it on the camera, but you see the, the oil's coming out as I bend it and twist it. It's kind of popping out there, boom, smacking it. <laughs> so then, I'm just gonna really fine chop. This has a lot of flavor. So I don't wanna use too much. Otherwise we're gonna have orange salmon cakes. Mm-hmm. But the right amount, mm. it's perfect. I call it herbal essence. Mm. Not the shampoo. <laughs> just put a little bit of that in there, mm. boom, for a little flavor. Very. Here's put your in. mixing bowl, guys. All right, we're gonna do the same with my lemon. We're gonna use some real lime juice, some real lemon juice, some real orange juice. Mm. Oh yeah. Yummy. Hit it with some breadcrumbs. This is gonna help put it together. Like I said, I'm using the fresh salmon. Definitely, I'm using some QP mayo. This is Japanese mayonnaise. Mm. A little Dijon mustard for flavor and binding. A little remoulade Cajun. And one of my personal favorites, Korean barbecue. Yum. So it's gonna have a sweet, salty, herby, cilantro, oniony flavor. Yummy. So now that we've put all the ingredients into the bowl, we're going to mix it all together. There you go, Lo. Whip Chef it. Cal gave me Whip the easy it. job. <laughs> now what you're looking for is almost like a thick kind of mm. crab cake consistency. When you see that your salmon is a little wet from the liquid, but also getting a little clumpy like clay because of the breadcrumb, that's when you know you have the perfect mixture to form a salmon cake. Nice. Mmm, it smells so good mm. too, guys. Let me tiny bit of salt in there. That looks and smells amazing. Mm. What I'm gonna do, because I'm Chef Cal, I'm a little crazy, I'm just gonna try a little bit. The raw salmon? Mm hmm Oh my god. Mm. Good? Mm hmm Should I try the raw salmon? If you want. Mm. Mm. It's good, right? If you're at home and you want to use a scale to weigh them out, you can, you know, some people have dietary restrictions, whatever, four or five, six ounce portion, whatever you want. Today, we're just gonna eye it. Okay, okay, sounds good. I love using my hands, okay, so we're just gonna dig in there. All right, so we're gonna grab, I like little cute ones like this. Yeah, I like little I don't wanna make them too big because yeah. they're really chunky. Yeah. They might fall apart. Uh-huh. So little cute ones, I think will do it better. Like that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> a little more. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, whatever size you want. No egg in here, this is it's all up to you. The size you want it, I mean, you're gonna be the one eating it. So, you have too many ones, or one big one, or medium size, there's no wrong way to make a crab cake, or a salmon cake, or any kind of fish cake, or a burger at that. So we just finished making our salmon cakes, mixed all the ingredients together, and then formed them into little, Cakes. Chef Cal preheated the oven. We're starting off with a cast iron skillet. 
I love cooking with them because you get a nice even heat uh, ratio over the service area. We're using a little bit of canola oil. I like to get it real hot to the smoking point. Then I just toss it around in the pan, make sure it's evenly coated. We didn't use an egg or anything crazy, so these are very fragile. Put it in there nice and easy. High heat. So what we're gonna look for is a nice golden crispy brown crust on the bottom. Mm. Flip it over. I'm gonna grab right under it and pull the top. Boom. Flip. Boom. So looking now, I see the hot part of the counter right here. Mm -hmm. This one is a perfect color. Mm -hmm. That one got a little crispy, somewhat stood. They're all gonna taste amazing. Yeah. I got a little sheet tray over here. We're just gonna transfer them there and finish cooking them in the oven. So we just finished frying, pan frying the salmon cakes and now we're going to put them in the oven. We kept them in for about three minutes. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Yummy. Alright. Off. Try just like a little mixed greens right on the side. I'll just have a little salmon cake with a little salad with a citrus vinaigrette. It's really hot. I like this one. Put that right there. Yeah. Maybe get a little friend. Mm -hmm. A little sauce. We're gonna use a little Cajun remoulade. Quick, simple, and easy. A little Korean barbecue. Mix that up. Drizzle a little bit over the top and around. Mmm, that looks fancy. Edible flowers. You can, why don't you top it off with some ikura, some of those salmon eggs. Gold flake. Gold flakes? Those are rice puffs. Rice puffs, guys. Now for my favorite part, to give it some real good flavor, we're gonna smoke this entire beautiful dish. Mm. We're gonna put the two right in here. We're getting fancy over here, guys. And we're gonna light this bad boy on fire. Let's go. See that smoke filling up smoking. in there, Cassie? Yeah, smoking. That is gonna give it a really nice flavor. So Chef Cal just finished smoking it and now we're going to open it up. Let's go. Let's do it. Ooh. Check this out guys. Mmm, salmon cakes a la personal Chef Cal. And my sous chef Cassie. Thanks love. <laughs> Killed it. Why don't you take a bite out of that? Let's do it. This is the best part. This is my favorite part of cooking, eating. Fire. So good. Let me try that. Mm. Oh man. We killed mm. it. We killed it. Flavor, smoking the sauce. Delicious. Mm. Thank you so much, Chef Cal. I really appreciate you coming over today. Everything no. was so delicious. Thank you. You were an amazing sous chef. We had a lot of fun. They turned out perfect. They are. They are delicious and we had so much fun cooking. So we'll definitely make sure to do this again sometime Absolutely. soon. What do you guys want to see? What kind of food do you guys want to see Chef Cal cook? Definitely make sure to leave some comments below and let us know what we should cook next time. Bye guys. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. 
I'll make sure to tag Personal Chef Cal below, as well as include all the ingredients that you'll need to complete this recipe. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button below. If you haven't yet done so, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. I have a ton of great more content coming your way that you don't want to miss out on. Like I mentioned before, I'll be posting every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so I'll see you guys next week.